Good morning. It is Friday. Vega, say hi. He's a little busy. <laughs> he didn't want to say hi. He's a little busy. That's okay. I'm here uh, walking the dog, jogging with the dog, and um, getting my steady state cardio in for the AM. Um, and just thought about uh, giving you guys a little motivational Friday thing. Um, so, talking about making small, consistent changes for big results, right? I'm in Rochester Park, in case you guys are wondering, and uh, about to get my work day started. But, but wanted to get my a little bit of cardio in. So, um, I'm not the walk portion now of my slow jog I had been doing. But uh, let's talk about goal setting for a second. So what often happens is people will, and, and I like to use fitness as an example because it's a physical representation of setting a goal and either achieving a result or not, okay? And uh, people do both, right? Uh, oftentimes people don't achieve the results they want. Um, and let's look at why that may be, right? So... Someone will have a new fitness program, some new goals, they'll get super excited, and then what will they do? They will, you know, head on, get started, and they'll be on, you know, crazy diet and plans to spend an hour and a half a day in the gym, go from zero to an hour and a half, five days a week, six days a week. I mean, they got all these things planned out, you know, and they go big, right? Which sometimes it's good to do, but they start they start their program and they get, they get they get in their day one, day two, some might even last a week, and then what happens? It fizzles out, right? They get busy, they stop doing it, and and whatever, you know. But they start a diet and they are are stuck on that diet program, and they go three or four days in, and then they go out have happy hour. Um, have a few drinks, have some nachos, taco Tuesday, all that good stuff. And next thing you know, they've erased three or four days of progress and they do that for 12 weeks. They think they've been dieting and, you know, they're inconsistent with their exercise as well. But man, they really killed it, you know, three days ago. But then, I, you know, I didn't really do much the last four days. Whatever. Anyways, you get the idea. So you end up not getting really the results when... Sometimes it's just a small change, but doing it consistent, consistently, that's what's going to get you the results that you need. And uh, we see that whether we are listing property or whether we are building our business or whether we're doing a fitness program. So this morning I just added a simple, very easy 20 minutes of steady state cardio before I eat anything. Why? Because I'm like th not quite 30 days into my diet doing pretty well, but I'm starting to see a little bit of stagnation now. Um, and so I started off with very little cardio, um, intentionally, knowing I would have to step the cardio game up. And by the end of a 12 week diet, I will be um, doing a lot of cardio, right? Um, so I, so uh, anyhow, that is, you know, making a small little change, just 20 minutes in the morning, steady state cardio with no food, just a fat burning thing, but I'm doing it every day. I mean, I gotta take my dog out anyways, so and it's beautiful out here, and I love falls, so it's enjoyable. It's a very small change, but the key is to do it consistently, okay? And that's the key, the key is consistency. And, um, and again, making that small change that's doable. Now, if I blasted out an hour and a half of cardio every morning, it would actually be too much. And, and for fitness reasons, I would start to lose muscle tissue. It would start to affect my endocrine system. It wouldn't be very good. So sometimes big, too much of a change, too, too drastic can compromise your goals. So you have to know what you're doing and you have to know, you have to have your eye on the ball, so to speak. You have to have that eye on that goal and make sure that you're your change that you're doing is 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 fitting with the goal, you know, and not going to pull you away from it. Um, but certainly, just bashing out two hours of run, running in the morning uh, for a couple of days, and then not doing anything for a week would get me very minimal results. 
So what, instead, just adding a little bit, so I've added 20 minutes of steady state cardio in the morning, then after my workout, doing some interval training for just 10 minutes, and then doing 10 minutes of steady state cardio, like on a bike or uh, or uh, on the road, hitting the, running or whatever. So really, really a low amount of cardio, not very much, just 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, but it'll be consistent, and that's why I'll get the results, okay? And then, of course, as things progress, I'll have to step that cardio up and so forth. But anyway, that's it. It's just such a beautiful day out here. I thought I would share it with you guys and uh, talk about that because that's really important. And it's really important, too, when you're setting business goals and some of these other things. You know, it's really hard when you're busy with a lot of clients, you're busy doing a lot of different stuff, to make some big drastic change it may not be productive. It may not be what you need to do. A lot of times it's just a really small change, just a small tweak that's very doable, but you got to do it with consistency. And that's it. So enjoy your day. Make it productive. Friday is the last work day for the week for some of you guys. So get it done. All right. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.